I agree. Good. I think that woman is a twat and everyone agrees. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Good. Tom wants disco music at his birthday, for example. I agree. Jenny agrees. Okay, zumbido de abeja. Mm -hmm. And James agrees. Do you agree? I agree. Good. I think this magazine is awesome. Do you agree? Of course, I agree. Good. Convertimos el programa Inglés Online TVE en un curso de inglés premium para ti. Y ya sabes dónde y cuando tú quieras. Curso de inglés online tve.com o infórmate en el 911335842. Lo de mi hijo no es normal. Lleva dos años en clase de inglés y sigue en el mismo nivel que cuando empezó. Desaparece durante una hora tres veces a la semana y cuando vuelve es que no habla ni una palabra de inglés. Lo único que dice es, mamá, no quiero volver. Si te siguen pasando estas Stranger Things con los cursos de inglés de tus hijos, es hora de salir de la oscuridad. Darles la oportunidad que tú no tuviste con Vaughan Jr. Un curso de inglés adaptado a su ritmo de aprendizaje divertido y eficaz, con unos profesores únicos que les motivan y despiertan sus ganas de aprender. Date prisa antes de que desaparezcan las últimas plazas que nos quedan. Llama ahora al 91-133-5832 o entra en grupovaughan.com. Empower your English. Empower yourself. Campamentos de inglés sin salir de España. Tus hijos hablarán inglés divirtiéndose, siempre acompañados de nuestros monitores Vaughan. Realizarán talleres, actividades, veladas nocturnas y todo ello en inglés. 91 133 5832. La radio que te entretiene te acompaña. La radio que te enseña. Esto, lo que escuchas, es Vaughan Radio Madrid 100.4 FM. Aquí comienza Inglés Online TV. Everybody, welcome to the show. Inglés Online TVE. Eso es. Inglés Online TVE, right? TVE, Televisión Española. Our partners for this voyage, that is this course. And uh, you can join us every day, every morning on Televisión Española on Channel 2. And we have classes every single day. And uh, and now I do a review of the same content, so it's it's completely free. It's very um, very thorough, and I hope you'll you'll join us today. We have our friend Escamilla Escamilla who writes in and says, "Hi, Kyle Douglas Miller. I like your programs." He says, "I like your programs. Are nice, but I like your programs. They're nice. You you could put they're nice there." Or your programs are nice and I like them, you could say. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like the shows. Uh, Antonio says, good afternoon. Hi, Kyle. Good afternoon. All right. So we're slowly starting to populate our chat. We got lots to cover, lots to talk about today on our program as we explore. Uh, class number 60. Sorry for that, folks. I hit the camera. Excuse me. We explore class number 62. And, uh, hey, why don't we begin? We've got our friend uh, Juan Ho with us today uh, for our, our lesson. Why don't we begin, Juan Ho, with our, in, with our beginner content? Nivel básico. That's right, friends. Nivel básico. Nivel básico. Basic level. Um, Here we are. I'm glad you can... Uh, today, we, you can hear me and you can see me, right? Maria Pilar says, it's good to see you. Well, say, ni nice to see you too. Belen is there. I was waiting for you, Belen. We were waiting. What took you so long? No, I'm kidding. We have the usual suspects in the chat today. Thanks for joining us. And if you want to be a part of it, you're at home listening. You can join us on YouTube, Inglés Online TVE, T-U-V-E is the channel on YouTube. 
And we're live today. A-OK. okay. Hey, okay, that's right, that's right. Yolanda's with us, and so is Valentino. Hey, guys, how are you? Nice to see you there participating, joining us today. Uh, the beginner content, there are some CDs on the shelf. Now, shelf is the estanteria, right, estanteria. Uh, there's actually a shelf. You can't see it from where you, from where you are. I suppose I could move the camera, but I'm not going to do that. But over there, there's a shelf, and it's kind of a secret, una, una estanteria. But it's, it is, I'm tempted to say it's secret. Una estanteria secreta, no? Because I think, I, I think I'm the only one. Quizás soy el único. No, Juanjo, que coge libros de, de la estanteria ese. I don't know. Richard. Richard and I are the only ones that take books from that shelf. And the other day I said to, now Richard, Richard Vaughn, right? Because I said to Richard Brown, oh, I left books on the shelf. And he said, what shelf? I don't think he knew there was one because it's hidden. It's one of these, it's like a piece of furniture, un mueble, which is kind of hidden. And when the door is closed, it's easy to know that it, do, to, to, to think that it doesn't even exist. So anyway, a shelf, estanteria, shelf. So our sentence today, there are some CDs. Hay, hay, hay unos discos, unos CDs en la estanteria, right? On the, sh on. We don't, we don't say in the shelf, we say on the shelf. There are some CDs on the shelves. One shelf, two shelves. One shelf, two shelves. And we don't say in the shelf, but on the shelf. There are, CD, there are CDs on the shelves. But yes, in this case, on the shelf. And there are some CDs. Now, a CD is a compact disc. We say a CD. And it's, it's important to remember, a CD is the actual disc itself. Because in Spanish... You, you, people often say a CD for what, we, for what is really a CD player. Or you say, el DVD. DVD is DVD, which is digital video disc. The DVD is the disc itself. The, the machine is the DVD player. You say, oh, I had to go buy a new DVD today. Well, I, I was buying, you know, a film, for example, on DVD. But if you're talking about the machine, then you say a DVD player, a CD player, an MP3 player. My phone has a built-in, incorporado, built-in MP3 player. Sure. Like all phones these days, I suppose. Built-in MP3 player. So it's important to use the word player. And we say a, a CD player, a DVD player, an, an MP3 player. MP3. Now, the word M, well, the letter M, M, it sounds like a M. So it sounds like it starts with a, voc with a vowel sound. So we say an MP3. We don't say a MP3. An, an MP3 player. An MP3 player. So the sentence today, there are some CDs on the shelf. Now, yesterday... I practiced with the verb to be. Well, sorry, or the the, um, the subject there, there, and the verb to be. So we had some sentences yesterday, and we can practice with a few more. We're seeing that again here. There are. So yesterday we saw there is, I, and now I, w with countable nouns, there are. Right? There are. Uh, let me pick. Are there? Or, uh, hay problemas. Are there any problems? Si, sí, hay problemas. There are some problems. No hay problemas. There aren't any problems. Problems. Right? We don't say problem, but problem. Problem. I'm closing the lips with the letter M. Problems. Antes había mucha gente aquí. Antes había mucha gente aquí. There used to be. There used to be a lot of people here. Antes había mucha gente aquí. There used to be a lot of people here. 
No hay tantos como antes había. There aren't as many as there used to be. There aren't as many, as many as there used to be. No tiene que haber una solución necesariamente. No tiene que haber una solución necesariamente. There doesn't have to be a solution necessarily. Necessarily. Necesariamente. Necesar. Cuidado, aquí no se dice nece, necesario. Ne, necessarily. No, it's nece, ses, seser, necessarily. I can say that with my teeth touching without sticking my tongue necessarily. Whereas the Spanish tongue loves to come out on that. Nece, ce, but the ce, ce. No, nece, necessarily. There doesn't have to be any... There doesn't have to be a solution necessarily. There doesn't have to be. No tiene que haber una solución necesariamente. There doesn't have to be a solution. Solution necessarily. It's so it's it's a great way to practice pronunciation. Just slow down and repeat and copy the sounds of the of the sentences I give you, for example. No, no, no puede haber tanta gente. No puede haber tanta gente. How would you say that in English? No puede haber tanta gente. There can't be there can't be that many people. There can't be that many people. Tanta gente. También se puede decir so many. There, there can't be so many people. There can't be that many people. My gosh, t we've got a million. We've got 400,000 people watching our stream. There can't be that many people. No puede haber tanta gente. There can't be that many people. Puede que haya una solución. Puede que haya. There may be. Two words. May. Puede que. May, there may. Second word. Be. A solution. So it's not maybe. De quizás. Or tal vez. It's there may be. Puede que haya. There may be a solution. I don't know. Uh, there, there may be a solution. Solution. There may be. I'm not sure. No estoy seguro, eh? There may be a solution. So here, the sentence, there are... Hay unos, disco, hay, hay unos CDs en la estantería, ¿no? There are some... There are... Rar, rar, there are. There are some CDs on the shelf. En la estantería, there are some CDs on the shelf. There you go, everybody. Okay, before we move on, Antes de hacer eso, before we move on, let's take a look at people's comments. Belen says, hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, Valentino. Good to you, man. Hi! Hi, whoa, hi, everybody. Belen says, and we should remember to say on the shelf, not in the shelf. Correct. Yes. I have a question, Kyle. How do you say in English, la estantería de en medio? Ooh, would you say the middle shelf? Yes. Sorry. I'm My God, that sounds, sounds made, made up, up to, to me. me. Well, it could be made up, but no, no, no. The middle shelf is right. Then, then medio. The, the middle, the middle shelf. Sure. The middle shelf. And the middle shelf could be like this. We have one, two, three. The middle this way, or you know, vertically, or it could also be horizontal. The middle. Either way, yeah. The middle shelf. Sure. The left shelf. The right shelf. The middle shelf. The top shelf. The middle shelf and the bottom shelf, right? Now, there are several shelves. I keep my books on the middle. I do. I keep my books on the middle shelf. Mm. Valentino says, these days, just a smartphone worths all the, ooh, is worth, or, or yeah. I, so, I, well, I talked about DVD, a DVD player, an MP3 player, a CD player, and, and, and Valentino says, a smartphone worths all these. You can't use worth in that way. It serves the purpose of. And like, 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 like saying, funciona como todo eso. It, 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 it works the same as, or it serves the purpose of all these uh, electronic devices. Right? It does. So a lot of people are writing in. Valentina says, oh, congratulations on the show. Very didactic. Well, thank you very much. 
Um, Yolanda says necessarily. Necessarily, you pronounce both C's. Necessar, yeah, necessarily. Yeah, we don't say nece. That's true. We don't say necessarily. No, we say necessarily. It's it is necessary to pronounce the C's properly. This the proper pronunciation is necessary. Necessary. Hmm. Uh, Marcel Mann says, Hi, will Real Madrid win tonight? I don't know. No say. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't know if Real Madrid will win tonight. I don't know. Um, eh. I don't know. I can ask Juanjo. I'll ask Juanjo later on if he thinks Real Madrid will win tonight. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to win or not. Uh, Valentino says, "What? Are, yeah, that sounds made up to me. <laughs> and he likes that jingle. Yes. Okay. And Yolanda also says, the as is exactly the same. The same as. As. That's true. Okay. The C is the same as the double S. Correct. It is. That is right. Okay. So I have, uh, we're, we're going to continue. Before we, before we go forward with our, in a moment we're going to go ahead with our, with our uh, intermediate content. But um, actually before we do, before we do, actually, let's try. Let's try two more sentences. Dos frases más, using there to be. Just a final review. Ha habido varios casos. Ha habido. We could say there have been. Ha habido. There have been several cases. Okay. And finally, debe de haber. Debe de haber una solución. There must be a solution. Solution, not not sion, but solution, shun, like ocean, solution. The solution is in the ocean. There must be a solution. Now I can ask Juanjo this question, because I don't know this, I don't know. Juanjo, is Real Madrid going to win tonight? Va a ganar Real Madrid tonight. He says, he thinks so. Juanjo thinks so. Me, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm not a football guy. You can't ask me about. What you, did you, you just, just say, Alberto? Alberto? Well, you wanna a, you wanna ask me about you wanna ask me about uh, you wanna ask me about baseball? Maybe I can comment on that or ice hockey. But on football, I'm out of my element. But let's move on. Let's go ahead to today's intermediate content. Nivel intermedio. All right, everybody. Intermediate con. What did you say, Alberto? Yeah, that was a that word. We're, we're digging deep through the jingles here today, which is good, though. The intermediate content. I can't make up my mind. No puedo decidirme. Es que no puedo decidirme, Juanjo. I can't make up my mind to decide to make up one's mind to make up my. I can't make up my mind. You can't make up your mind. He can't make up his mind. She can't make up her mind. They can't make up their minds. I can't make up my mind. Decidir. Decidirme. To decide. To make up. Make up my mind. I can't make up my mind. Let me think about it. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. Tan pronto como, como pueda, right? As soon as possible, as soon as I can. Déjame pensarlo un poquito. Déjame pensarlo. Let me think about it. I can't make up my mind. Let me think about it. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. No puedo decidirme, right? Déjame pensarlo y te digo tan pronto como pueda. Cuanto antes. As soon as I can. Right. Por favor, decidete ya. Están esperando. Please make up your mind. They're waiting. He likes both offers, but he can't make up his mind. So to decide is to make up your mind. And to, if you can't make up your mind, then you are indecisive. In, indeciso. In English, we say indecisive, indecisive, in, indeciso, indecisive. He's indecisive. He just can't make up his mind. He can't decide. He's indeciso. He's indecisive. 
So yes, no puedo decidirme. I can't make up my mind. Let me think about it, and I'll let you know as soon as I can. Okay, let me, déjame pensarlo un poquito. Let me think about it. About it. Think. Think about it. Think about it. Let me think about it. And I'll let you know as soon as I can. As I can. Tan pronto como pueda. As soon as. As soon as. Okay? And here we have the as soon as possible. We often see... Well, as, or here, as soon as I can. But we often see this uh, acronym ASAP, which is a, as soon as possible. Do it ASAP. Do it as soon as possible. ASAP stands for as soon as possible. Que significa? Significa. Um, the phrasal verb stand for means, significa, significa. It means stand for. Well, to, sorry, to stand for means significa when we're talking about acronyms. So what does ASAP stand for? ASAP stands for as soon as possible. What does AC stand for? Oh, it's hot. Someone turn on the AC, the air conditioning. Americans say that a lot. Turn on the AC, man. Turn on the air conditioning, the AC. AKA stands for also known as, también conocido como, right, a.k.a., also known as. B2B stands for business to business. CEO stands for chief executive officer. What does CEO stand for? ¿Qué significa? What does it stand for? For. So stand for means significar, but when we're talking about acronyms, stands for. Now, actually, stand for has another meaning, too. Stand for also means uh, like to represent, like we stand for peace and we stand for prosperity for and opportunities for everyone. It's like what we believe in. This organization stands for, right, we have a, we, we practice and preach a certain belief or a certain set of ideas. What, is, what does CIA stand for? In Spanish, you say la CIA. Or in English, we pronounce them according to... We tend to, pronounce English, we tend to pronounce acronyms in English according to the individual letter. The CIA stands for the Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA. Hmm. The EU, the European Union, right? It stands for, significa, it stands for the European Union. Okay. Uh, Marcel Mann says, nobody understands baseball. Well, I don't know. It's a good game. It depends where you're from, right? Anyway, let's move on, everybody, and take a look at today's advanced content. Nivel avanzado. That's right, everybody, nivel avanzado. Ooh, advanced level. It's time for us to get going. Venga, vamos. Hasta luego. It's time for us to get going. It's been great seeing you. Ha sido genial. It's been great. It has been great. Ha sido genial verte. It's time for us to get going. Ponernos ya en camino, no? To get going. It's time to get going. It's time for us to get going. Ponernos ya en camino. Ponernos en marcha. To get going. Come on, let's get going. It's time for us to get going. What are we waiting for? It's time to get going. It's time for us. It's time. Ya era hora. It's time for us to get going. Ponernos ya en camino. Ponernos en marcha. Also, ponernos en marcha to get, get going with a project, with something. Uh, ha sido genial. It's been great. But here, it's been great seeing you. Verte. It's been great, followed by the ING. Well, you could say it's been great to see you. Yeah. It's been great to see you, or it's been great seeing you. Oh, I'm glad I saw you. Really, it's been great seeing you. It's time for us to get going. 
It's time for us to. Belen says it's time for us to hit the road. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. You know that one? Hit the road. It means que vamos. It's time for us to go. It's time for us to hit the road. Mm-hmm. Belen says I can't make up my mind when I'm in front of a pastry shop. Pas, uh, patisserie window. I guess a, pa- a pastry shop window. I never know what cake to choose. I can't make up my mind. I can't decide. Sure. It's time for us to hit the road. Another great expression, she says. That's right. What about get around in? Get around in? I don't know that one. Getting around in span. Oh, to get around is like to get around the city. Like moverme por la ciudad. I can get around in Spanish. No, me apaño is I get by. I think that's what he means. Me apaño con mi español. I get by with my Spanish. Me apaño con mi chino. I get by with my Chinese. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, what's the difference between it's time and it's about time? It's time. Yeah, right. It's about time. It's, well, you could say either one. It's time we left. It's about time we left. You could say either one. And that is almost true because, uh, yeah, you could say either one, really. They're, they're, we're, we're sort of splitting hairs here. It's time. It's about time. It's time for us to get going. Y ahora, ahora, de ponernos en camino. Huh? Ponernos ya en camino, to get going. It's been great seeing you. Ha sido genial verte. It has been great. It's... It's been, it has been, it's been great seeing you. Well, it has been great seeing you here, and this has been class number 63. It's been great spending some time with you working through the contents of today's program. But we're done, just like that. But tomorrow, more. Mañana más y mejor, se dice, ¿no? no? Tomorrow, more and better. How about that? Number 63. Class number 63, everybody. It'll be a good one tomorrow. I, I hope you will join me. And I want to thank everyone for participating in the chat today and for listening also on Vaughn Radio, online and on the dial and on so many ways to enjoy the show. We'll be back with another lesson tomorrow. Have a great evening, folks. Bye-bye. es mucho más que clases de inglés para empresas. Mucho más. Tenemos varios tipos de cursos a vuestra disposición, como nuestros cursos in company, con profesores que se desplazan a vuestra empresa para dar allí las clases en el horario que acordéis con ellos. Nuestras clases online y telefónicas con varios niveles y temáticas disponibles. ¿Buscas un curso que se adapte a las necesidades de los empleados? Entonces buscas Baugan Empresas. Infórmate ya en el 91-133-5831 o en grupobaugan.com. Baugan presenta La Píldora del Inglés Último aviso para los pasajeros del vuelo 629 con destino a Cork Last call for passengers traveling on flight 629 to Cork Último aviso para los pasajeros del vuelo 578 con destino a París Last call for passengers traveling on flight 578 to Paris. Te veo en la sala de embarque.